progress. I like it. And regression. No, that's not good. I'll forget it. I'm overshooting. Lost my mojo for the grass, man. Post solo in the Super Cub. Now, I've definitely been focusing on tailwheel flying this whole summer. It's been a lot more awesome than I expected and a lot more learning than I expected. So I've got some really cool videos coming that do focus on that, but I also have a lot of other cool stuff coming. So if you haven't seen it, please check out my main new channel trailer and also my Patreon campaign, which is going really well. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's already involved. Anyway, so being signed off to Solo in the Super Cub was the first step in a long journey to become friends with that plane. I'm still working on it. This footage is from my fourth solo, which is about my eighth hour of tailwheel flying. I was a little ambitious with this one. I aimed to work on wheel landings for an hour, and I ended up doing about 10 of them on the pavement. And then the plan was to end with a nice perfect three-pointer on the grass. I'd recently scared myself screwing up a three-pointer on the grass. Check the description for that link. So in the back of my mind, I knew I had a demon to face regarding my three-pointer confidence. Conditions were light wind favoring runway 09. Down check, rich, cold, locked, both, on, on, brake pressure, seatbelts, down with check is complete. So today the wind is pretty calm, so it's not really a day to test myself, which is fine, it's just a day to make it good. Get into the white arc, one notch of flaps, how's my trim? Trim is beautiful for one notch. Keep that in mind when we go full for the grass. And Burlington traffic, Fox Oscar is turning left base, 09, touch and go, Burlington. Definitely weird to be flying around with massive dump trucks crossing the runway. I think they're on the radio, but they seem to be paying attention, so. Anyway, all right, let's just fly the airplane and not really think about the trucks unless they actually get in the way. Two trucks about to cross the runway. All right, let's just fly the airplane. And Burlington traffic, Fox Oscars final, 09, touch and go, Burlington. Slip down, slip down. We got full rudder. That's a slip. Come on, trucks, let's do it. Truck on the runway. Of course, my speed is too high now, so I'm distracted by that. And Burlington traffic, Fox Oscars short final, 09, touch and go, Burlington. Although it might be an overshoot based on how ugly this is. But I saved it with a slip. Alright, so yes, it is a little distracting when a truck drives in front of you on final. Let's loosen up on the feet, loosen up. Alright, truck, do not cut me off. I park the stick. Not looking down, bearing straight ahead, controlling the roll. Alright, like it, power. I'm enjoying those rolls, that's my workout. Running a traffic box to our correction, Oscar Charlie Hotel, coming up over at the field for the mid left, 09. And Fox Crew Oscar is turning uh, final 09, I know you want to be flying this girl, John, don't you? Sorry, Steve, I didn't catch that. Well, I was just saying, I know you want to be flying her, you almost used the call sign there. <laughs> and this is my buddy, John. I take full responsibility for him getting his tailwheel endorsement this season. And he's flying the Warrior today, which is another plane I love. And John shared one of the coolest flying experiences I've ever had. Wow, that's awesome, man. Flying the steering with Dennis kicked ass, and John got to fly the Cub in formation with us that day. So there's a couple videos coming out of that footage, so stay tuned. It's a lot of editing, but when I get it done, it's going to be wicked awesome. All right. I have flaps one notch. I'm a little fast, but I'm kind of shallow, so I'm not really worried about that. Dump truck about to cross the runway, but he probably sees me. Speed is good, approach is good, sink rate is good, airline is good. Get ready for some last minute sink. Alright, loose on the feet, loose on the feet, loose on the feet. Trying to traffic, Oscar Charlie Hotel established mid left downwind 09 full stop. Stuffing the stick, stuffing the stick. So I'm exaggerating the roll a little bit, uh, holding the tail up a little longer than I need to before I go again for the touch and go, just because I want to really get that center line tracking down. I like it. I'm going to do one more just because I love it. So John is somewhere based on the traffic off your tail, base to final 09 full stop. 
That's awesome. I knew he was about to turn base to final just for timing. Love it. And we're in traffic. Fox Crew Oscar is left, uh, ba uh, correction left downwind, runway 09, touching over. Right. There's the white arc, there's the flaps. And Burlington traffic, Fox Crew Oscar is turning final 09, touching over Burlington. Burlington traffic, Oscar, Charlie, hotel, down and clear. And a little fast, a little high. So I was counting while I was editing and I actually did do 10. This is my 10th wheel landing. Uh, they were pretty much all the same. I just threw in a couple that varied. This one, for instance, is not a good one. I'm going to actually lose control of the roll a little bit here because I am getting tired. It's been an hour, but it's amazing to see how fast it happens. And once you start to lose control of the center line, it's a battle. And if you hesitate at all, you're going off the runway. So you have to be right on it. It's crazy. Uh, the new job is watching. I almost had it. That one wasn't brilliant at the end there. Lost my center line. Flaps are gone. But uh, I'm okay with it. I know I did wrong. Alright, what do you think, buddy? You want to try the grass? Not a hell of a lot of headwind. You really can't fuck it up. Sorry about the swearing. Clearly, I'm not feeling confident, and I probably should have called the day because I was getting tired. But I didn't. The technique for three-pointing is significantly different than for wheel landing. Um, I'm assuming you've seen previous videos that I've done in the details of that. Bottom line, to switch gears and get into that mode is not exactly simple, so I uh, probably shouldn't have done it when I was tired. <laughs> so enjoy the sloppiness that's about to ensue. I'm gonna try it. All right, put one on the grass. Full stop. Bring it in with power if you have to. Bring it in slow if you have to. Well, if you have to, bring it in slow. But not too slow. We do not want to drop it on. Power. I'm going to use power. This is not a gliding approach. This is a short field landing. Okay, so I have no headwind. I mean, that's part of the problem. I'm really afraid of dropping it on. I've traumatized myself after that one time when I really thought I was doing everything right and just smashed it down. But if I don't bring it in with a three-point attitude ready to go, I cannot expect to do a wheel landing on that tiny bit of grass. I have got to do a three-pointer. I have got to hit my mark, three-pointer with the right amount of energy. Get it done. Right, we're going to go full flaps. I'm too slow, man. Yeah, I do not love the trim control in this airplane. That's my least favorite thing about it. The trim control in this thing is out of a 1970s car window winder. Don't love it. But otherwise, I do love this airplane. So even at the best of times, it feels pretty weird to set up for the grass here because you're flying right over top of all that good asphalt runway. And what you're aiming for is that tiny little bit of grass, and that's basically a thousand feet. So you really have to get it right. Way too slow. Yeah, brutal. Don't love that the cars are parked at the threshold. Anyways, I'm not gonna do any more at least. Let's just get this in place. Crossing overhead for the turnaround for zero nighter. And I came in with way too much speed. I can't blame it on the trim, I can't blame it on the cars. It's just bad energy management. And I actually came close to overrunning it, so I scared myself. Terrible. Scared myself. Oh my god, what are you doing? I was just bounce, bounce, bouncing forever on that one. I need to do another one of those. I gotta get my mojo back for those. Oh. Yeah, I'm not letting that be my last one. I hate to leave the airport on a low note. My hops time was 5.2 when I started. Wow, almost been an hour. But I was getting tired, and sometimes you gotta know when to quit. Stability is the name of the game here. Stability. I want a nice soft landing like I did on my first solo. There's the sink. Do not stretch the guide. Just add power. Pitch for speed. And I did it again. Came in too fast. Just bad energy management. But at least this time, I was smart enough not to try to save it. No, that's not good. I'll forget it and we're shooting. Fred flight chops. At the time, I missed that I'd been recognized there, so sorry about that, whoever that was. I was just having a bad day. Wow, first time I fucked that up. So weird, man. Like, I was afraid of being slow, and then I just had tons of energy. Lost my mojo for the grass, man. Partly is that I don't have a headwind, so it is challenging. 
that good at the wheel landings, and I've lost my touch for the three-pointers. That was actually my first overshoot in the Super Cub, but not my last for the day. Southern traffic, Foxy Oscars final, 09 for the grass, full stop. Hit your mark, dude. You've got this. I need to manage the energy and keep the speed at 60. Even 5 miles per hour worth of too much energy makes it impossible to three-point land. And I think I let it get closer to 70 for a second there, so there's no way I'm going to make it. I'll forget it. I've lost it. A tiny bit of a headwind. What am I doing wrong? Laps are gone. And Brilliant Cotton and Fox Cosker is left downwind. Zero nine for a full stop in the grass, but I don't I can do it. Okay, loosen up. Maintain energy. Do not force it down, but don't drag it in either. If I fail this one, I'm just going to go stop on the pavement because I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I just felt like I had too much energy. Oh, I'm just too low. I'm all over the map here. Slant final. It's terrible. And running traffic. Fox Oscars final. Zero nine. Full stop in the grass. Full flaps. This time I'm lower. I'm slow. Why am I floating so long? That's better. Not brilliant, but not shit. Oh, I call it a day on that one. I'm getting tired. So a couple days later, I got back at it and attacked those three pointers and got it figured out. So thanks for sticking around. For more information about flight chops, please check out my Patreon link and keep your flight chops sharp. Yeah, that's what you call perseverance and maybe some fatigue.